Looking to protect your cards? Whether you need sleeves, deck boxes, binders, playmats, or even backpacks, Ultimate Guard has your collection covered. Literally. Premium products offering priceless protection. Visit ultimateguard.com. Hello and welcome to another Explorer gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a Blue Rat a Creativity Gear Hulk deck featuring the 6 mana 5 6 artifact creature construct with Flash that when it enters the battlefield lets us cast an instant card from our graveyard without paying its mana cost and then exile it afterwards. So, one of the combos that's been known for a while is Gear Hulk alongside Magma Opus, as we can easily discard Opus for two mana, make a treasure, which helps us cast our Gear Hulk, and then Opus, of course, very powerful, dealing for damage, divided as we choose, can tap two permanents down, make a 4 4, and draw two cards. So, very powerful 8 mana instant that we can sort of cheat into play with Gear Hulk. And this deck adds another layer to that combo, which is Indomitable Creativity. For x equals 1, can potentially be cast on turn 4 already. And then we can destroy our own artifact, even an artifact token, like maybe a treasure we get from Prismari Command, Fable or Magma Opus. And then go looking for a creature or artifact and put it in play. So we can put our Torrential Gear Hulk in play, which is the only artifact or creature in our deck. And that can then potentially flash back more spells out of the graveyard, like a Magma Opus we discarded. So that can set up some very explosive starts. Then looking at the rest of our deck, we've got some nice control elements with Voltage Surge dealing 2 damage, potentially 4 if we sacrifice an artifact, which we can do thanks to our treasure tokens, so that gives us some early interaction. Consider a nice cantrip that can also put extra cards in our graveyard to maybe help set up our Torrential Gear Hulk, or just find the missing combo pieces in general. At 2 mana we can censor as an early counter spell to maybe throw off the opponent's curve, can also be cycled if we don't need it. And then of course Magma Opus can also be discarded. And then at 3 mana we've got our big enablers to set up our creativity, including Fable of the Mirror Breaker, which will first make a Goblin Shaman token that when it attacks makes a treasure token. And of course we can target either the treasure or the shaman, or maybe both with our creativity to find Gear Hulk. If we creativity for X equals 2 we get to find 2 Gear Hulks, so that's also fun. And once the Fable transforms into Reflection of Kiki Jiki, it's also amazing alongside Gear Hulk as we can copy it, get its ETB effect again, and get more value out of our graveyards to completely take over. And then Prismari Command is also great, as we can cast it at instant speed, so the opponent may not be expecting it. End of turn we draw to discard two and make a treasure, can maybe discard cards like Magma Opus or Sublime Epiphany in the process. And then turn four we get to untap, creativity for one our own treasure token and put a Gear Hulk in play, and maybe flash back one of those powerful instants. And then we can also potentially take out artifacts or deal 2 damage to take out opposing creatures. And then at 4 mana we've got 2 copies of Big Score, great at potentially helping us hard cast a Gear Hulk on the following turn, as it can make 2 treasure tokens, also good for enabling Voltage Surge. And then of course Creativity, which ideally we have on turn 4. And then at 6 mana, besides Gear Hulk, which we can easily hard cast, we also have two copies of Sublime Epiphany, which is one of the best spells to replay with Gear Hulk, as we get to maybe counter spell, counter an activated or triggered ability that only really works if we flash in the Gear Hulk, otherwise, creativity is only sorcery speed, so we wouldn't be countering anything with it. But we can always return a non land permanent to its owner's hand, create a token that's a copy of target creature we control, so we can make another copy of Gear Hulk to flash back yet another spell, and we can also draw a card. So great fun with the Gear Hulk. And then the mana base includes Den of the Bugbear, which can also maybe leave behind a 1 1 token so we can target it with creativity. Great against control decks as an extra win condition. And then some channel lanes, including Soaring City. And the Crucible actually quite useful as well, as it can make some tokens that we can then target with creativity. And then a ton of mana fixing, as we do need triple red, so can't afford too many islands in play, otherwise we may not be able to cast our creativity on curve. So just a ton of red lands and blue red dual lands. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play, and this hand's probably not gonna cut it, no enablers for creativity, double gear hulk's kinda clunky. This could work. Do have to put a card on the bottom. And it might be Sensor here. As turn 2 I might want to discard Magma Opus instead. And Consider can help us find a good 3-drop or maybe just more lands to eventually cast a Gear Hulk. Put on green-whites, maybe humans. Picked up another sensor. I guess I'll hang on to it. For opponent plays like a Thalia, it might be worth countering. 
did find a Fable, so that's a nice turn 3 play. And yeah, there's Thalia. Get out of here. Resolve Fable and Creativity, a perfect draw. Could see Brutal Cathar get rid of our token, which would be a clean answer. So hopefully if that's not the case, just an Aspirant, that's fine. And no third land. Okay, discard Opus and probably Big Score at this point. And then we get to attack. Conan takes it. And Creativity. For one, targeting our treasure token. Get a Gear Hulk. Play Magma Opus. And our opponent concedes. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and our hand could use creativity, but otherwise seems fine. Bit of early interaction, and then Fable to keep digging. Can maybe discard Epiphany. Turn one, Snow Covered Forests. Into a Pelt Collector, which we probably want to Voltage Surge. That seems fine. Can wait to see which two drops they play. Pack leaders as carry one two, but we don't have an artifact to sacrifice to surge, so we'll take our belt collector. So mono green stompy, probably not our favorite matchup. I think we go for tapped steam vents, give up on consider so we can play fable without taking damage. Now if we draw our Creativity, our opponent's probably not going to have a ton of interaction. And it's going to be a Lenor Elves for now. So we can Prismari Command take out the Elves before they get to use it for mana, as our opponent appears to be stuck on two. I think that's worth it. And then we can loot or make a treasure. Next turn we can play Fable, so it's not like we have a bad play lined up. So in that case, I maybe prefer the treasure. That worked. And then next turn, Fable plus Den. Hope to draw into like a Gear Hulk or a Creativity. For now, take three. And Old Growth Troll gonna be their three drop of choice. Oh, there's our Gear Hulk. So, could also set up a Big Score and then next turn be guaranteed a Gear Hulk. Big Score discards Epiphany. Whereas if I go for Fable, then I would have to draw an untapped lands in order to guarantee Gear Hulk. Although we do generate a 2-2 creature in the process, which can certainly come in handy. So, close call here. I think maybe Fable still the preferred play. Yeah, we'll just have to draw into an untapped lands to cast our Gear Hulk, or maybe attack with a Shaman so we can make another treasure and play Gear Hulk at instant speed. Opponent does get to enable pack leader, draw, deal quite a bit of damage. But hopefully we'll be able to stabilize with Gear Hulk. Alright, we get to untap. And then discard Epiphany. And Probably discard Big Score as well, as something we can also maybe play with Gear Hulk later. Alright, there's our untapped lands. Magma Opus, we cannot quite discard and then steal Gear Hulk, unless our Shaman attacks, I suppose. Pay two, make a treasure, this makes a treasure, that's six, and then we can Gear Hulk, copy Gear Hulk with Epiphany, and then Magma Opus as well. So we'll try that. Opponent's got a collected company, that's fine. We'll go full control so we can maybe respond. Alright, Ooze and Saronas. Good thing they're tapped out, so Ooze cannot interfere. But that does mean that we probably want to go for it now, as opposed to try and wait to maybe ambush opposing creatures. 
So let's do this now. Play Gear Hulk. And step one's gonna be to copy Epiphany. We can return, copy, and draw. Could have also just countered the collected company instead of uh, trying to handle the creatures afterwards, which might have been even better here, honestly. We'll bounce Ronas, copy Gear Hulk, draw. And then Magma Opus can deal two to the ooze and two to the opponent, maybe. Nothing to tap down. Two more Gear Hulks in hand. Yeah, that's pretty good. And there's Ronos once again. Opponent still attacking. Nope, reconsiders. And plays another ooze. Can take that out while they're tapped out. And then Reflection plus Gear Hulk's also quite devastating. So it's just flashing Gear Hulk. And then we can Prismari commands. Dealing two to the ooze. And then we can draw to discard two. Don't think we need sensor anymore. And then I probably don't want to attack into Ronos just yet. But it's not going to take long for us to attack past it. Troll attacks. Sure, we can block it with a bunch of creatures, Pun can pump it twice up to eight. So double gear hold blocking should be enough. And if the troll dies, our opponent no longer has a creature to enable Ronos, so we can easily attack past it. Okay, so Ronos no longer gets to block here. And yeah, it's party time. Can maybe copy a Gear Hulk. Replay big score. Discarding Canal. And then we can play another Gear Hulk. Play Voltage Surge. And kill the pack leader, dealing 4 damage. And attack with a team, and our opponent should be dead. Awesome, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and our hand is promising. Just need to hit some land drops, and then find, hopefully, a creativity. Opponent on... Monoret, Kumano. Alright, so finding some early interaction like Voltage Surge would also be nice. I'll take the coast. Another consider. Okay. So our opponent has free rain on turn two. And a robber's a good one. So nice start for Monoret. Prismari Command now unable to kill Robber. Opponent exiles a big score. And there's creativity, so we'll keep that. So now Prismari commands. Might actually want to make a treasure and then draw to discard too, so we put Epiphany in the graveyard. So creativity can give us a gear hulk that replays it. Although dealing two to this robber is also tempting. I think copying Gear Hulk is still going to be the winning play, and the best way to guarantee that, because we still need to draw an extra land, is draw to discard two and make a treasure. So we'll let them attack. 
opponent exile the Gear Hulk, so there's still two left in the deck, which is good enough. Down to nine we go. And then, yeah, we need to hit an unsapped land here. There we go. Discarding Epiphany and Magma Opus. So it doesn't get much better than this. Creativity X equals one. Targeting our treasure. Get a Gear Hulk. Go for Epiphany. And then we want to return, copy, draw. We can bounce the biggest robber. Copy our Gear Hulk, draw a card. This one goes for Magma Opus. Kill both creatures. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play, and this hand, sadly, is not all that great since we're missing enablers for creativity and no way to ramp into Gear Hulk. So, we'll take a mulligan. This is better. We're up against a Yurion deck, so presumably control. So probably not the best matchup for Voltage Surge, so maybe that can go. And then we'll hang on to... Epiphany is something we can maybe discard to then replay with Gear Hulk if we find it. And can lead with a tapped Steam Vents. Another creativity. Opponent on a Naya Yurion deck. Okay, four colors at least. Might want a Cycle Sensor. And do it now so we can maybe find a good 3-drop we can play. Since I also need to hit my land drops and just find an enabler for creativity in the first place. And we did not find what we were looking for. Can maybe animate then and then use creativity on the leftover 1-1. One, one. Not ideal. But uh, might be necessary. If we don't find another treasure maker, Lotus Cobra, so maybe a four color landfall deck. And Dryads for extra land drops. Alright, so a scary start from our opponent. Found a consider which I can cast in the hopes of finding a good 3-drop. Voltage Surge can kill Cobra, is that good enough? It's not bad, but opponent already has a lot of mana, and it feels like we still need to find that enabler. So we'll put it in the graveyard, and Fable is good. So next turn we might be able to Creativity, and with an Epiphany in the graveyard we can copy Gear Hulk as well. Do need our Shaman to survive. Fabled Passage represents a lot of mana. So we'll see what kind of curve topper our opponents playing towards. But we could just be dead here if it's the right one. Yep, Genesis Ultimatum. Potentially putting a ton of permanence in play. And yeah, there we see Omnath, the Locus of the Royal, and Ugin, the Spirit Dragon. That's going to be a bit hard to beat. So essentially Elementals with Yorion. And it doesn't get much better than this Genesis Ultimatum here. So your opponent gets a ton of triggers from Titan, Risen Reef, Omnath. They still get to activate Ugin. And there's nothing for us left to really creativity other than the opponent's creatures. So this game seems very much over. So yeah, in hindsight, grabbing Voltage Surge to kill Cobra might have saved us from that ultimatum. But we also needed to kind of develop our own game plan. And our opponent was eventually going to have the mana to ultimatum. So I think 
trying to go for the high upside of finding a 3-drop like we did was still the play. And yeah, if they don't have ultimatum, but maybe just hard cast like a titan, we might be able to come back by chaining together gear hulks with epiphany. But yeah, now our opponent's truly going off. It's gonna take a second to resolve all their triggers. But they've got a full grip, a huge mana advantage, and they're very far ahead on board. So our opponent dealt with our enchantments using the titan. Ugin just gonna plus on our Shaman. Four mana left. Make that six mana left. Extra land drop from Dried. So we'll let our opponent have their fun here. Six mana. What's it gonna be? Another Risen Reef. Good to multiples. And they're gonna put Yorion on hands. They'll have to discard to hand size a little bit, but I'm sure they don't mind. So we fall to 13. And the uh, best we can do is creativity for x equals 2 in our turn, which is not gonna accomplish much. But I guess we can let the opponent spin the wheel here, get rid of... I guess we'll maximize their Risen Reef triggers, so we'll go for Cobra and Dryad. And give them another Titan of Industry and Omnath. Two more elementals to trigger Risen Reef. So mission accomplished. GG's. And we'll uh, pack it in here since these are gonna take a while to resolve. Okay, we're on the play. Hand is looking quite good. We've got Prismari Commands. Even turn to Magma Opus if we want it. And then we'll have plenty of treasures to target with creativity. So hoping to dodge a thought seize here. Opponent red black mid range. There's a thought seize, sadly. So that's gonna take creativity. And now our combo looks a lot less impressive. Still gonna discard Magma Opus to make a treasure. Can pass with Prismari Command, hoping to draw into another creativity. And then now, probably fine to destroy the token. Could have also just countered with a sensor, but this should be fine. And there's creativity, perfect. So discard Mountain, plus do we keep a Magma Opus or a sensor? Probably fine to keep a sensor in hand, as we're pretty far from casting Opus. So X equals 1. Get our Gear Hulk. And our Magma Opus. And our opponent concedes. Yeah, they feel like they're too far behind already. Still have a nice bit of interaction left. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and is missing creativity. Otherwise, it's got some nice tools facing Gigantha, which could be an aggressive deck. Either burn or maybe sacrifice. So having the early voltage surge gonna be important. So play Mountain Pass. And a Scorch Bitter I'm happy to kill. If we didn't suspect our opponent to necessarily be on an aggro deck playing a tapped steam vents, might have worked out better. But for now, can play Pathway, discard Magma Opus, and maybe get rid of some of the steam vents with Prismario Command. Brushfire. Okay, it's gonna hit us for one. And since we now already have a treasure. I'm okay with Prismari Command dealing 2 and then draw to discard 2. And we'll do it now in case of any pump spells, I think. So 2 damage, draw to discard 2. And yeah, we didn't find anything of note. Just some lands. Trailblazer, so they do seem to have an elemental sub-theme. 
I guess we'll keep up Soaring City here without costing us any life. And next turn we could hardcast Gear Hulk if we draw it. Which could replay Magma Opus and pull us pretty far ahead. Aha, uh -huh, opponent is. Three colors, Omnath, the play. That might be worth bouncing. And there's Magma Opus. How close are we to hard casting that one? Still need a few more lands. So don't think I'm in a position to discard Magma Opus. Opponent replays Omnath. Take two. And a Fabled Passage. Good with Omnath as well. So the clock is ticking. Need to top deck Gear Hulk or Creativity pretty much. As we fall to 10. And we're probably not going to get another turn. There we go, creativity. Maybe regretting not discarding the Magma Opus, but I think I would have been happy with it in hand if we topped the Gear Hulk instead. So, yeah, if I discard Magma Opus, I still won't be able to creativity for 2, so we'll just do it for 1 here. Get a Gear Hulk, replay Magma Opus. And we can take out Omnath. Okay. And now we're getting closer to hardcasting the second Magma Opus as well. Brushfire is not going to have any amazing attacks. Giganthine Hands, don't mind seeing that. Also an elemental. And a big score of the draw. So. Probably safer to keep some creatures back on defense here. And then we could big score and fable. Or we can just, let's say, play big score. So we guarantee magma opus next turn. If I fable now and we attack with a token, I guess we could still cast magma opus next turn as well. All right, fine. We'll play fable then. We'll provide more value in the long term. And then I do need the land and play to get to eight mana. So let's just chill for a turn. And then next turn we can attack with our Shaman and before blocks Magma Opus to maybe tap down some blockers. Opponent plays Gigantha. Voltage Surge to draw. So could get rid of Big Score, hang on to Voltage Surge as cheap interaction, and then move to Combots. Does just a Shaman attack. I can kill the Trailblazer. And that's it. And then tap down the two other creatures. I suppose a 4-4 could maybe also attack, as we'll get a replacement anyway. So these two get in there. And then Magma Opus. Killing Trailblazer. Tapping these two. Find another Gear Hulk. And then I could play Tap the Den or keep up Voltage Surge, which is maybe safer. Can kill Brushfire in response to a land, but our opponent packs it in. Awesome! So, yeah, found the Gear Hulk or Creativity right when we needed to, and managed to come back onto the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and is promising if we find an enabler for Creativity. So I'll try it. Can go for tapped steam vents and then turn to den, and we did find the enabler. All right, let's try that. So just need to find a fourth land that comes into play untapped. Opponent on angels. So we can counter potential three drop here, especially if they don't use Jada to make mana. And next turn, command can kill Jada as well, although we might need it. For other purposes, Sensor Perfect to counter Valkyrie. Could have tried to attack for two first, thanks to Vigilance. Opponent realizing their mistake, perhaps. Okay, so do we want to kill Jada or go for Fable? Prismari Command 
could just discard Epiphany and then make a treasure, and that's probably enough to overpower whatever our opponent does next. So I don't think we need to kill Jada here. Can maybe kill it next turn with the second Gear Hulk. So we'll take two. Possible Fable also would have worked out, but I think Prismari Command gives us just a more consistent Gear Hulk here. Opponent passes with what must be Collected Company. Okay, let's draw to discard to make a treasure. Could see company response in case our opponent fears removal on Jada. That works, and then discard Epiphany and Magma Opus. Still need an untapped land here. Opponent does go for company now. Have the option to voltage surge Jada. And where does that leave us? It leaves us needing to rebuild a token for creativity, can do so with Fable, and then we're facing the two creatures they found of company. If we let this resolve and we don't find an untapped land next turn, we could easily lose in the course of two turns while we stumble. If we do find an untapped land, then creativity for Epiphany and Magma Opus should be able to get us back in the game. So it's a pretty big decision here. I think we let the company resolve and just hope for that untapped land. Because if I use my treasure now, it's going to be pretty rough to rebuild. Opponent found another Janna, so glad we didn't go for Voltage Surge. And did not find the untapped land, but we might be able to survive one more turn here. Go for Fable. And then next turn. There's even a chance we could Creativity for X equals 2. Taking at least 7 in the air, and Respellent Angel currently not really threatening to make any additional Angel tokens. So opponent shocks with Temple Garden, so they're not out of action, they might have another company. No blocks. Down to 11 we go. And it's going to be a youthful Valkyrie. And another Resplendent Angel. Well, these creatures do have a lot of toughness that are going to be difficult to kill with our burn spells now. Let's untap. Discarding probably Creativity and Fable to the Reflection. Hang on to a second Creativity, could still see that coming in handy. Alright, we drew another, so now what? Attack with our Goblin Shaman, hope they somehow don't block, so we can Creativity for 2, otherwise I can Creativity for 1 right now, and still keep our Shaman, kill Janna, tap down their 2 flyers, bounce another flyer. Yeah, it's still gonna be rough, with Resplendent Angel being able to pump next turn potentially, but Creativity for 2 doesn't necessarily add a whole lot of value. Yeah, I guess we'll try to attack anyway. Can maybe finish off one of the angels that blocks with Magma Opus. Opponent takes it, so now we can Creativity for two. One and two could also go for an angel, don't think that's necessary. Two Gear Hulks. And go for Epiphany. And go for Magma Opus. Let's deal 4 to Resplendent Angel. Epiphany can return, copy, draw. Return Resplendent Angel, copy Gear Hulk, draw. And then the final one can go for Prismari Command, dealing 2 to Jada, making a treasure. And then we can finish off Jada with Voltage Surge. Okay. That worked out. Still facing a youthful Valkyrie, although we can bounce it next turn with Soaring City. 
So maybe the slightly riskier line of attacking worked out here, as opposed to just going for creativity for x equals 1. Opponent can replay Resplendent Angel. Can still creativity once again to get another Gear Hulk if we'd like. Don't know if that's going to be necessary. Voltage Surge to draw as well. So how much damage do we have here? 15, 19, so I can just clear two blockers and kill them. But yeah, we were at 5, so Valkyrie would have gotten there if they got one more attack in. So ended up being pretty close. Sweet. Beats Green White Angels, definitely one of the more popular decks in Explorer right now, at least in Best of One. So yeah, we got a nice variety of matchups in with our blue red creativity deck. And the deck's incredibly powerful if you can get the combo off, but even just hard casting Torrential Gear Hulk can be good enough in some matchups, so you don't always need creativity to get there. So it's less of a combo deck and it's more kind of a blue red control deck of sorts that has this combo avenue that can win you some games quite easily. So it's a pretty fun deck to play, not the easiest, have to make a lot of decisions as you could see in the games today. So it takes a bit of practice to get it going, but the reward is certainly there. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.